procrastinating with this video because I feel like this is going to be one of the most important videos that I ever record. So this topic is incredibly polarizing and I know that it's very triggering for people. It's been tri a triggering subject for me also and I do think it needs to be talked about though. I'm thinking about just leaving the comments off for this video because I've seen other people's testimony videos and the comment section is a nightmare and it's just not nice. But I can't really decide. I, I kind of also do want to leave the comments open for discussion from you guys. I know that I may lose subscribers and I might also gain them and I don't really care either way because I just think that this conversation needs to be had. And I'm also laughing because I never thought I would be somebody that would talk about this. If you knew me when I was a teenager or in my 20s, you'd be like, what on earth? I can't even believe she's talking about that. Life is funny like that. <laughs> anyway, this video is all about my recent feeling that I need to transition to God and Jesus and away from new age spirituality, law of, law of attraction, law of assumption, manifestation content. I need to move away from that and get closer to God and closer to Jesus like I was when I was a little kid. And I'll talk about my little story here. I mean, I have some notes written. I don't know, you know, if I'll stick to them or if, you know, God will put something on my heart that needs to be said that I don't have written down already. I'm just gonna kind of let it go and let it flow. And I'm absolutely terrified to record this. <laughs> this is by far the scariest video I feel like I've ever recorded. Not that I've recorded that many, but one in which I feel afraid. It's a very vulnerable subject. I also know that when God puts something on my heart that he does that for a reason. So I also am just kind of like pushing back the fear and just going with it because I know there are others of you out there that are going through this as well and I want to be there for you and I want us to be there for each other during this transition. So this week I had a real come to Jesus moment. I, I just felt like I've been on a hamster wheel with spirituality and it's like, I just haven't gotten anywhere. And yes, I have been practicing spirituality and I believe in God, of course, but it's always felt like there's been something missing when it comes to spirituality and that and all that stuff and the new age stuff. Like something is always missing with it. And what's missing is God. A true connection with God not just yeah I believe in God it like a true connection with God I wasn't fully devoted to God it was like I was in one foot in with God one foot in with the spirituality manifestation stuff and this way felt really empty but I just kept doing it and running from God <laughs> if that makes sense so let's talk about you know, how I got here, how I got to this place of transition. So when I was a little kid, I always believed in Jesus. I believed in God. I believed in angels. I would write letters to God. I mean, and this was when I was very young. Like my parents weren't really extremely religious. Like we would go to church and stuff sometimes, but they weren't like telling me these things. It wasn't like they were, they were putting this in my head. I just had an innate knowing that God existed and that I was still connected with him and I trusted him and I would talk to him all the time especially when I was in nature or before bed. Like that's when I would connect with God and angels and all the things. So I knew that that was real as a small child. As I got older, I started to pull away from that because I became programmed like everybody does in school and by society and whatever else. We all experience different things. But once I was a teenager, I started to really pull away from any sort of spiritual anything. Even though I was this very spiritual person, I still am, I always will be. I started to really pull away from it and obviously I discovered boys and drinking and partying and all the things you experience as a teenager, right? And so if I would mess up, like say I got caught, you know, I would drink in front with friends or something. I love my parents. They didn't do any they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't know, but they would make me go to church as punishment. So I that really left a bad taste in my mouth when it came to religion and church because my brain was still developing as a teen and I associated church with punishment. I didn't associate church with God anymore. So it became a whole thing. And I, no hate to my parents, they did the best they could. And honestly, I can see where they were coming from. They were thinking like, oh, she's, you know, she's going down the wrong path. Let's get her back towards God and let's let's make her go to church and stuff. And, and I think it would have worked had they explained it, had they said, you need to be connected with God. Like let's, you know, instead of a punishment, like let's, let's, get back on track here, you know? That's not really what happened. So I got com very confused. <laughs> Again, no hard feelings towards them. It is what it is. And I'm in a good place now, so it's, it's okay. 
it's okay. But then I feel like the older I got, I got even further and further from God. And, and because now I saw it as a punishment, it was really something I didn't want anything to do with. Eventually, I wanna say late 20s, well, somewhere in my 20s, I just really was enveloped in partying, the party scene, the drinking scene. I just really lost myself, didn't know who I was. I lost my connection with God completely. I, I even remember feeling like I was almost atheist. And I just was like angry at that point. I didn't, I was mad at God almost. And so in that light, I kind of, because I was mad at him, I was like, well, I don't believe in you then. Like you, like my life wouldn't be this hard or I wouldn't be feeling this, these horrible things if God was real. So I, that didn't last very long though, honestly, because <laughs> like I said, I am innately a very spiritual person. I think we all are actually. Eventually I was like, okay, yeah, there is obviously a higher power here. Like it's very obvious to me. So then I decided that I was agnostic. And I really don't like labels at all. I really don't. I just, we're all evolving constantly. And I just, I don't like all this label stuff. But anyway, eventually I had a spiritual awakening and that's when I became more like, I would say agnostic. And that's when I slowly started to transition into the spirituality space. Then there was a point where I was like, yes, I do believe in God again. Like I, I know God is real. I know angels are real and Jesus and all that stuff. However, I was more invested in doing things my way and going the spiritual route, like with law of attraction and all the things, because they do work. You can change your life using the law of attraction, the law of assumption, um, manifestation, all those things, like they do work. That's why they're so popular. So I found myself down that rabbit hole to the point though where uh, it was working for me until it wasn't anymore, guys. And I just felt like, where does it end? Like, it's like I'm chasing my own tail in this, in this spirituality space. It's like, there's always another thing to do, another, ayahuasca ceremony i never did that but there's another you know psychedelic drug there's another yoga retreat there's always another there's astrology and there's crystals and there's this and there's that and it's like where the hell does it end where does it end i know i'm swearing but hey i like to swear and i'm probably not going to stop doing that whatever anyway <laughs> where does it end though seriously and I, and I it got to the place where i was like I call myself a spiritual person and yes i do believe in god but what does being spiritual even mean what does that even mean to me and I think it means something different to everybody. And for me, I just felt like I don't really have a basis of like what that even means. Like there's no anchor there. And a lot of the times when I was practicing spiritual stuff, I felt very ungrounded and I felt like it left me in my head a lot of the time. And while it did work, I felt like I was in my head and overthinking a lot, overanalyzing a lot. I was making things like my fault when they really weren't. I was like, it was almost like everything was like self-absorbed. And I feel like that spiritual stuff takes advantage of people who have been very selfless in life, almost like they've been taken advantage in life in general and they're hurting. And spirituality comes in and says, no, it's about you now, like make it about you. And in a way that did help me a lot because I started to learn boundaries and all the things. And I do think spirituality and self growth and self development has become this whole like thing mashed up together. It's very confusing. I will say that it did help me. I have nothing bad to say about it. However, it helped me until it didn't, is what I'm saying. I felt like I started to really suffer because I became almost like obsessed with manifestation content and all of those things. And it's very easy to fall down that rabbit hole, especially with social media, because there's always another video to watch. There's always more content to consume. We could sit there and watch spirituality content 24 seven for the rest of our lives and never get through it. And so I just felt like it was taking up a lot of my time and energy and I was feeling drained and fatigued and I was like, why am I feeling like this? And it's because it was taking up so much of my energy where I could have been using that to pray or to listen to God or to go to church or read the Bible or, you know, have that foundation there. Like God is an anchor and I wasn't using, I wasn't, to be fair, I actually think I was almost using my relationship with God as like to like manifest. Like I was almost like, it wasn't like a true relationship with him. It was like, you know, if I'm connected to God, then good things will happen for me. And it was like all about me again, like the spirituality stuff is all about me, 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 me. What more can I manifest? It just never freaking ends. Like you manifest one thing, then okay, great, got it. What's the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And there's never true fulfillment and happiness there because it's from an empty place and it's from ego and it's not from your true heart space. And there were times where I would connect with God and I would make decisions with God and usually the times that I did that, my decisions felt good and I felt it felt right. 
But the times that I didn't, definitely felt empty. I felt empty anytime I would like manifest something. Going from new age to Jesus and God is incredibly humbling. I, I feel like I've spent the last week just asking for forgiveness and, and um, just really like feeling like, man, I've been so distracted and wondering why I'm feeling lost again in the spirit in the spiritual space is because I, I wasn't truly connected to God. Like I was saying that I was connected to God, but I wasn't actually connected to God. Like you can go to church every week, but not be connected to God at, at all. You can be doing the right things. Doesn't mean that you're connected though. There's tons of religious people that aren't connected to God at all. There's tons of spiritual people who think they're connected to God, but they're connected to something else. And I don't know what that other thing is, but I don't know that it's healthy. I don't. And I've definitely had experiences with ghosts and, and paranormal and sleep paralysis and stuff. Especially when I'm more open in this spiritual way, it seems to happen more often. So I'm like, not really wanting to go down that route. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's good. I just am feeling so pulled towards God and Jesus and really getting back to my child self that did give her heart to Jesus. When I was a little kid, I did. And my cousin told me she remembers me doing it. I don't remember because I was so young, but she remembers that time. And I and it was beautiful to hear her tell me that because I was like, that makes a lot of sense. And I feel like I'm being pulled back towards Jesus now. And he's always been there with me. Like there's been times where I've been mad at God or saying that I don't believe in anything. And But deep down, I've always had a trust and a faith that I don't know where it was. I don't know where it was coming from, but it was God's been there the whole time. So if you've turned your back on God or you feel like angry with him, like he's still there. Like he, do, he doesn't go anywhere. He's always within you and he will forgive you if you have been running from him. I messaged my friend and I said, I'm feeling pulled towards God and Jesus. And she said, I've been waiting forever to hear you say that. And that made me really feel emotional because I think that she was just, she knew that she couldn't really push me in that direction. And it's very annoying when people try to push you to God and stuff like that, because you're either ready or you're not. And this video, if you clicked on it, you're probably ready because I don't see why someone would click on this video if they weren't. <laughs> it would just be upsetting. And I would have never clicked on a video like this when I was in the space that I used to be in. It was very emotional to hear her say that. And I was like, oh man, she's just been waiting this whole time for me to like finally like be like, oh, that's what's missing. I've been running towards spirituality this whole time and just going all over the place and so confused and so in my head. And, um, and this whole time, really, I was just looking for God. That's all, that's all. <laughs> so going forward, I feel like I need to really def redefine my relationship with God. I need to involve him in my life, in my everyday decisions. There's a lot of different things that I think I'm going to be changing in my life. There are some things from spirituality that I still would like to take with me. I do love my crystals. I don't think there's anything wrong with crystals. I, I, I don't. I know a lot of Christians think it's bad and all this stuff, but I think they're beautiful and I love them and I don't really do anything with them. I just think they're pretty. Uh, but as far as things like tarot and stuff like that, I, I quit that uh, like years ago because I just felt like one, it definitely opens you up to things that might not be good for you, <laughs> energies and different things. And I also feel like when I would do tarot, I it would always just confirm what I already knew. And so I felt like, well, I already know this literally every time. So it's pointless because I'm right. Like my intuition is correct. So it was just picking up on my own intuition and I just felt like it was stupid and pointless. And I, I just, I decided that I was done with that. I really like how I was able to change my mindset though to a more positive one. I really needed that. And I, that's kind of a more of a self growth thing or self development thing versus a spiritual thing. Like I said, they're all kind of intertwined at this point. So I like that and I, I truly do like affirmations. I think the only thing I'll change with affirmations is I think I'll be less vain with them or less ego driven with them and, and include God in them um, instead of just using basic affirmations like a lot of people teach. I don't know that that's extremely helpful. And again, it feels very ego. So I want to include God in what I'm putting out there. And as far as my channel, my YouTube channel, I, I don't really know how it's going to change. I feel like I'm always evolving as a person and, and we all are. And so my channel is probably going to evolve in the same way that I am. And I'm really enjoying sharing my experiences with you guys because I do think it's super helpful to do that. And I, I encourage you to do the same in whatever way that looks for you, you know, whether it's YouTube or a podcast or your, you know, your social media, wherever you need to you feel like it feels good to express yourself. I definitely encourage you to do that. So that's what I'll be doing here. And you know, if you want me to make more videos on this, depending on whether or not I leave the comments on, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but let, leave a comment below if I do, if you'd like more content on this. I was thinking about making a second video, kind of how I'm transitioning over 
to God and Jesus from New Age, exactly what I'm doing, you know. But this video specifically was just to tell you where I'm kind of at in my process right now because I think there's a lot of us out there. If you type in New Age to Jesus Testimony, there's so many of those videos, just like the social media addiction videos. Like there's so many of those. That's why I made that video. And I felt inspired again. Like God definitely put this on my heart and I was terrified to record this, but I feel like it was the right thing to do. And yeah, hopefully it was, I don't know, but I look forward to hearing more from you guys and connecting with you in the future. So hope you like this one and hopefully I'll be doing more of these. We'll see how it goes.